The great myths tell us that Persephone loved life and was always anxious for a new experience. Demeter loved her daughter with all her heart, but she was very busy with her work and couldn't always keep a watchful eye on Persephone. Demeter made the fields ripe with wheat and the gardens lush with vegetation. She worked tirelessly to feed a hungry world. Why? What? The bounty of the earth is not here for your amusement. Ha! Huh. Don't like me smashing melons. Well, how about this? <laughs> for what you have done, you must be punished! For his disrespect to a god, the boy paid a terrible price. He was forced deep into the earth, where he would live far from the world of sunlight for the rest of his days. There was one thing that worried Demeter even more than her harvest, and that was her daughter's constant search for adventure. Persephone! Persephone! Persephone longed to explore the world around her. And sometimes Persephone acted recklessly. Ah! That was wild! Water! Oh, I could do with a refreshing drink! Persephone did not realize she was being observed by someone far beneath the earth. He was the god Hades. What is it, Cerberus? Hmm. That's Persephone, the daughter of Demeter. Isn't she beautiful, Cerberus? Look at her! She's so young and alive. Her eyes shine like sapphires. Her hair like amber. <sighs> I wish she could join me here in my dark kingdom. But who am I fooling? She would never come to me. If I could just touch her. Come on, Mother. You've made it rain for a week now. Please, let the sun shine. If not for me, then for the mortals, you'll ruin their harvest. I'll stop the rain as soon as you promise to stop disobeying me and wandering off. But, Mother, there's so much out there to explore. And it's full of danger for those who are not cautious. Promise? All right. I promise. There you are. It's only because I love you so much and I want to keep you safe. Look, I've made you a necklace out of pomegranate seeds. It's your favorite fruit. Now, I must go and dry out the fields after the rain, so you remember your promise. Why can't I have a life of my own? As time went by, Persephone grew frustrated by her confinement. And even though she had promised not to leave, she began to dream of freedom and adventure. She has so much work to do. She won't miss me. Sorry, Mother. But I'll be back someday. Reckless youth and inexperience caused Persephone not to heed her mother's warnings. And Persephone defiantly sought out her own great adventure. <sighs> Persephone! This time, I'll make her see me. Do I look all right? Who are you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. <clears throat> I am a king. A king? But where is your kingdom? And how can you live beneath the water? Ah, well, this pool is only a window to my world, which stretches far under the earth. But it's a lonely kingdom, I'm afraid. You see, I don't have a queen. Oh, why is that? No one will accept my offer. They fear they'll tire of this dark land and want to return to the world above. I can't blame them. I suppose it's better to have never known love than to have loved and lost. That's silly. 
Once you've known love, even a little, you can never be truly lonely again. Besides, how bad can your kingdom be? It is gloomy in here. I'll prove to you that once you have loved, you can never be lonely. I will stay with you for a while, and we will laugh and dance and become great friends. And when I leave, you will have memories to warm the rest of your days. You're certain, sir? Absolutely. Then I accept your offer. Well, I wanted my freedom, and my mother will never find me here. Welcome to my kingdom, Persephone. <gasps> Don't be afraid. You're safe with me. Persephone! Persephone! When Demeter returned from her labors and discovered that her beloved Persephone had gone, her grief was overwhelming. She no longer wore her ribbons and bright colors. Her laughter was no longer heard in the fields. Demeter flew to far-off lands, searching for her daughter. But no one had seen Persephone. Finally, Demeter turned to Apollo, the sun god, for help. Nothing escaped his searching eyes. Yes, I have seen Persephone. She was lured away by Hades deep into the shadows of the underworld. Will I ever see her again? She is in great peril, Demeter. If she eats any food or drinks any water from the underworld, she will never be able to leave. <laughs> 